there's a lot of misconceptions out there. There's a lot of, let's call it hype marketing out in the supplement space. And a lot of people that are making promises about their turmeric supplement, and you're going to get all of these kinds of results. And the reality is some of it's true, some of it isn't. And so we just want to talk more about what you should be looking for when you're looking for a turmeric supplement and how to make it as bioavailable as possible. Empowering you organically, delivering content you trust with results you love. Welcome everyone to another episode of Empowering You Organically. I'm your host, Jonathan Hunsaker, joined by my co-host, Terry Antrevenin. Hey, everyone. So today we're going to do a podcast about turmeric, and we're going to talk about black pepper or piperine that is in a lot of supplements. And we're going to talk about how to get the most out of turmeric. Uh, I know that we've done other podcasts in the past about turmeric, but there's a lot of misconceptions out there. There's a lot of let's call it hype marketing out in the supplement space. And a lot of people that are making promises about their turmeric supplement, and you're going to get all of these kinds of results. And the reality is some of it's true, some of it isn't. And so we just want to talk more about what you should be looking for when you're looking for a turmeric supplement and how to make it as bioavailable as possible. So the first thing I want to talk about is let's talk about black pepper or piperine, which is in black pepper. Well, Let's go backwards a little bit first, and let's talk about turmeric. Um, you've probably heard about the many health benefits of turmeric and its compound curcumin, and it's a hot topic in the health industry because of its powerful benefits. It can also be difficult to unlock the nutrients in turmeric so that your body can actually take full advantage of them. And this is actually something that you come up against with many um, of the herbs and spices and things that your body can utilize to benefit your health. One popular way to make the compounds in turmeric more bioavailable is to pair it with another popular cooking spice, black pepper. And so this is the conversation that happens all the time. You need black pepper to go with turmeric to make it bioavailable. And so we want to talk, talk about this a little bit more today and tackle this topic, as Jonathan mentioned. Really quickly, let's talk a little bit more about turmeric before we dive fully into that conversation. Turmeric is a staple remedy from the traditional medicine systems of the Far East that is gaining widespread popularity throughout the West, especially in the last few years as the super spice. Turmeric's many health supportive properties are attributed to curcumin, as I mentioned, a key component of turmeric that's associated with longevity. Curcumin is documented in the scientific literature as offering powerful support for cardiovascular, neurological, metabolic, immune, and cellular system health. It's also the part of turmeric that gives this root spice its rich gold yellow color. But the truth of the matter is that humans have a difficult time getting all of those health benefits, as we mentioned, and unlocking all of that power. And in comes making turmeric more bioavailable for your body. Well, see, and it's a term we use often is bioavailability. And to really understand what that is, that just means your body's ability to absorb that nutrient. If it can't absorb it, then it can't use it, and it's just gonna pass right through you and end up in the toilet, right? And that's a challenge with curcumin, right? Which is the main beneficial um, ingredient inside of turmeric is we can only get about 3% of it out of turmeric. And so there's all kinds of, you know, marketing and ideas of like, hey, put black pepper with it, it's 2000% more bioavailable and things like that. And that is true, right? You can add black pepper to it. The challenge is, is black pepper isn't good for everyone. And there can be some side effects, especially when it comes to uh, prescription medication. So black pepper or piperine, and I know there's some patented versions of it, variations of piperine out there that make a lot of these claims that it makes it a lot more bioavailable. And it does that by changing the enzymes that are in your gut, which allows it to break down the turmeric and absorb the curcumin. The challenge with that is, is if you take any kind of prescription medication, it can also change the effects of that. It might make it more potent or less potent, more bioavailable or less bioavailable. That also enhances the side effects, right? So if you're on a prescription medication and then you take a turmeric supplement with piperine in it, we're not, you know, there's, there's chances are that there's going to be some sort of effect on that prescription medication. And there hasn't been studies for all of the medications out there. They're coming out with new ones every single day, it seems like. 
So it's a lot riskier, in my opinion, to take a turmeric supplement with piperine, black pepper, biopiperine, things like that, that, um, that we just don't know the side effects with your prescription med. Then also, it can also cause issues inside of your gut for certain people. Um, what's really interesting is you can get all of the benefit, you can get the bioavailability of turmeric without all the risks of adding black pepper to it. You just have to know what to look for. You have to know what to find. And the solution there is getting a fermented turmeric. So fermentation, we've talked about this before, it starts the breakdown process of that ingredient, botanical, whatever it is, that herb. And it's already releasing enzymes that start breaking it down. So when it hits your body, your body doesn't have to release all of the enzymes. Your body may not even have the enzymes in its enzyme bank to break down some of those plants and herbs. So when you ferment it, it's already starting to break it down, which proves it to be that much more bioavailable. And there's studies out there now that are showing fermented turmeric is as effective as adding black pepper or piperine without those dangerous side effects that you can get with prescription meds or making your gut bleed or all these other things that come along with black pepper. I think one of the inter interesting things you just touched on is enzymes in our body. Talk about that for a second because we just did some podcasts around enzymes, how critical they are for your body and our lack of enzymes in our diets and things like that. So you talked about how we may not even have the appropriate enzymes. Talk on that just for a second. I mean, so we kind of have an enzyme bank, right? And it, it's like a bank account. You have a certain amount of enzymes in your body and we use, we, we withdraw from this bank to break down foods, right? Now, all food in its raw form contains the enzymes that it needs to break itself down. That's why when you leave an apple out or spinach out or things begin to rot, it's its own enzymes breaking it down. The problem is when we start cooking food and we start heating it above 112 degrees Fahrenheit, now we start destroying the enzymes in that food that helps it break down. So then we have to rely on the enzymes that are in our body to be able to break down that food. This is why a lot of us could enjoy milk when we were kids, but as we get older, we become uh, lactose intolerant because we've used all of the lactate enzyme to break down that lactose when we were kids and we're kind of out of that in our bank account now. So now we cannot consume that same milk. Well, it's the same thing. And we don't always have all of the enzymes at hand to break down everything that we ingest. So that's why, that's where fermentation really, I mean, fermentation does a few things. It, it already releases enzymes to start breaking down that ingredient, but just that fermentation process can release a whole plethora of more nutrients that are kind of unlocked. It's, it's kind of like when you sprout um, a seed, it unlocks all sorts of new nutrients once it's sprouted than when you're taking it in the raw form. So it's a quick education on enzymes. But the big thing that I really want to talk about, because there's all this hype about taking black pepper with your turmeric. And listen, for some people, you may not have any issues and you're going to see the, the great 2000% results that they're marketing to you. But they're not telling you about the side effects that come with the prescription meds. And we see testimonial after testimonial or people talking about it over and over again about how it hurt their gut, how it didn't work for them. Is there a better way? And it's why we've never put it in our, our turmeric supplements, our turmeric 3D and our Magi complex. We use fermented turmeric. In fact, we actually ferment our turmeric three different, we use three different types of fermented turmeric. So we well, don't- before, before you go there, okay. I just want to go back one second on the gut, okay? It, and, and Jonathan touched on this for just a second, but consuming black pepper in excess can damage the mucosal lining of the gut, potentially causing bleeding or other injuries. So you have to be really careful when you're combining this with ingredients for the purpose of bioavailability. Because again, as we've talked about many times, our gut health is so critical to our health and damaging that gut lining um, can lead to leaky gut and other health issues that you just don't want to see when it comes to the powerhouse that is your gut when it comes to your health. Absolutely. And, and it's just understanding like, there's just, it's hard to believe what's out there in the space, in the supplement space, because people make all kinds of promises. They make all kinds of guarantees. They, they throw all sorts of this study proves this and proves that. And we talked about this in other podcasts, but we don't know the quality of ingredient that's actually in their supplement because they're referencing a study that may have used a, a much more potent version or, or all of these other things. And 
it's why we're talking about black pepper because everybody talks about the benefits of it, but they're not talking about these side effects. And the reality is, is you can get all of the benefits of the turmeric, right? The black pepper or the piperine in there is not giving you any more benefit other than making the turmeric more bioavailable. Well, if that's the end result, we can make the turmeric more bioavailable without the side effects, without the issues uh, of it um, affecting our prescription medications. And that's simply by fermenting the turmeric. Absolutely. Yep. So, and I was talking about turmeric before, just because we get that question asked a lot because it's T3D and, and we say it's triple fermented. We actually ferment it three different ways, not take one turmeric and ferment it three different times. We have three different types of fermented turmeric in there for that reason, so that it's more bioavailable. This is another thing, and I'm going to go a little bit on a tangent here, but I think the education is important. You know, people ask, well, how much turmeric is in your supplement? How much curcumin is in your supplement? It doesn't matter the amount that's in the supplement. What matters is how much your body can absorb, how bioavailable it is, right? So it, you can go look at a multivitamin, a one a day um, that they sell at the local grocery store that's made with a bunch of synthetics, you know, for vitamin C, they're using ascorbic acid, right? It says 15,000% vitamin C. <laughs> yeah. And then you could go look at a whole food multivitamin like our Multivitamax and our vitamin C might be 100%. It's like, but there's 15 times more vitamin C in this synthetic. Your body doesn't know what to do with it. Your body just passes it right through. And so it's not bioavailable. So this is where it's important to really understand what's on the label and what actually gets used in your body. And so we get asked too, like how much turmeric is in it? Doesn't matter. It's how much turmeric can you absorb from it that matters. Yeah. And I want to touch on something really quickly. You'll see this in show notes with studies, but, um, Fermented turmeric contains more antioxidant power. Um, it says that fermented turmeric led to substantially higher plasma antioxidant concentrations in test subjects in a study that was done. And then also, let me see if I can find this here. Fermented turmeric was also shown to help improve the liver's functional detoxification potential, as opposed to black pepper potentiated turmeric that can inhibit natural detoxification. These were studies that were done in fermented turmeric. It also said, and let me see if I can find this, fermenting turmeric draws out an impressive 11% more curcumin compared to what's found in raw turmeric. Yeah, the, and the detoxification is important too, that black pepper can have that side effect to where it doesn't allow you to de detox as well as you could if you have too much of it in your system. So it's just another reason. And then fermented turmeric actually helps you detox even more. So the pendulum swings even further that way to use a fermented turmeric. I will, and, and if you're out there looking on Amazon and things like that, definitely look for a fermented turmeric. Um, I highly encourage you to get a organic turmeric as well. We've talked about the importance of organic, um, but if you're looking to, to really get the benefits of it, have it be a fermented organic turmeric. Yep. And I just want to touch really quickly, you know, we're really here to educate on fermentation more than anything, but I will say this, Fermented turmeric has some amazing benefits above and beyond what we've already talked about today. Um, it, it can increase your fat loss. It can prevent impairment of learning and memory and so many other benefits. And you'll find some of these in show notes um, that we'll post on our website, empoweringyouorganically.com, where you can read about these studies that have been done behind fermented turmeric and these amazing capabilities that it has for your body. Absolutely. All right. Well, this was just a, a quick and dirty podcast here to, to educate people about turmeric, about black pepper, about fermented turmeric, why that, in my opinion, it's better than any kind of turmeric supplement that has black pepper, piperine, or any patented version of black pepper in it. Um, if you want to see our show notes and all of our resources and references, go to empoweringyouorganically.com. As always, like us on iTunes, subscribe. Um, if you want to learn more about our turmeric 3D, where we use a triple fermented turmeric, we also have vitamin D in there. We use an organic KSM 66 ashwagandha, which is patented. We use fermented organic ginger, and we also use organic paractin, which we did a podcast about as well. If you're looking for inflammation support or pain relief, uh, in my opinion, there's nothing better out there than our turmeric 3D. That's at organics.com. As always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned a lot and we will see you on the next show. Thanks everyone.